when will new brothels home prices stop falling it's happening across the board in 78130 which is within city limits and in 78132 which is just outside city limits in the hill country prices are down 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 and down and it's happening with resale homes and new construction homes so in today's video we're going to tell you how far home prices have fallen in new brothels why is this happening again and some important data that could signal a turnaround in the new brothels housing market if you guys are new here to my channel thank you so much for hopping on because every week we're putting out important relevant and timely information just like this about what it's like to live in new brothels new brothels home prices continue to take a hit today we're looking at two main zip codes in new brothels 78130 which is within city limits and 78132 which is just outside city limits in the hill country and we're looking at two different products here today resale homes and the growing new construction home market. All right, 78130, we're gonna combine both resale and new construction homes here. Here's the median home price. That's down 5% from last year. 78130, just looking at resale. Focus on resale homes right now. There's the median home price, and that's down 3% from last year. 78130, focusing just isolating new construction homes here. There's the median home price, and that's down 7% from last year. Let's jump to 78132, new construction and resale homes combined. Here's the median home price. That's down 3.5% from last year. 78132, looking at only resale homes here. Here's the median home price, and that's down almost 8% from last year. 78132, just focusing heavy here, just new construction homes, isolating new construction homes here. Medium price right there, that's down 6% from last year. So let's get to why this is happening. Mortgage rates continue to run higher, which makes that monthly mortgage payment higher, which many buyers are just backing off and choosing not to buy right now. So we have fewer buyers in the marketplace and we have more supply. And New Braunfels is 45, 46 square miles large. So there's a lot of room to build, which is what builders are doing, creating a lot more inventory. All this space, all these homes, many just sitting there without buyers. And that impacts home prices in New Braunfels. Builders are offering record incentives to buyers and realtors to sell homes. I mean, 13% commission? 13%, I know, many of you ask, the commission for a realtor representing you on a new construction home does not come out of your pocket, does not impact the price of your home. It comes from the builder's separate marketing pot, important to know. 13%, that's an outlier. Many builders are offering realtors four, five, six percent But this gives you an idea of what's actually happening on the ground in New Braunfels with the housing market. And in addition to these incentives and discounts to realtors and to buyers, builders are also lowering their base price, especially if the house is completed and just sitting there on the market for a while without a buyer. Builders lowering prices in New Braunfels and offering all these record incentives puts a lot of pressure on resale homes in New Braunfels. Think about it. If you can buy a new construction home where the builder's giving you incentives to, to lower your mortgage rate and lower your monthly payment, would you rather do that? Or jump into a resale home where the sellers may be offering some to, to no incentives at making your payment higher. Which one would you choose? This is troubling for people who just bought their home two or three years ago and now have to sell. They bought near the peak and now they have to sell on the downside. And in between that time, you've lost a lot of equity. Meantime, what you paid for your three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1800 square foot, two story home, now the builder's building something similar, but giving you an extra bedroom, extra bathroom, and an extra 200 to 250 square feet for about the same or less than what you paid for your house two, three years ago. If you're selling your house, please make sure first you have enough equity in your house to pay for closing costs. There are costs involved with selling your house and make sure sellers, please price your home aggressively, not what you think your house is worth. We all think our house is worth a billion, a trillion dollars. It's not. It's worth whatever the market is paying for a house like yours. On the flip side, if you plan on purchasing a house in New Braunfels, Good for you. You have plenty of options. Home inventory is up in New Braunfels with resale homes and new construction homes. When will New Braunfels home prices stop falling? Let's get to the important data right now that could signal a turnaround in the New Braunfels housing market. And when we talk about the New Braunfels housing market, so much of it is tied to mortgage rates. They've been on the higher side for a while now, but these two pieces of information could be the start of inflation cooling off and possibly our first rate cut in a long time. First, the consumer price index, which measures inflation, dropped month over month. It's a small drop, 
a tenth of a point, but hey, that's still progress. And a trip to the grocery store got a little less expensive last month. Prices dropped two tenths of a point month over month after years of price increases. But grocery prices are still higher than they were last year. Grocery prices are important to the consumer price index because food costs make up a large part of the index. I know a tenth of a point, two tenths of a point, doesn't seem like a whole lot right now, but think about it. What if this was the start of consecutive months of decreases and all of a sudden gas dropped at the pumps to the point where it lowered inflation enough to convince the Federal Reserve to make the first rate cut. But we have one big hurdle to clear in all of this. It's called shelter or housing, which is the biggest component in the consumer price index, which again measures inflation. While home prices fall in New Braunfels, that's just not the case in most parts of the country because they don't have the room to build like we do here in New Braunfels. Less room creates less inventory, which creates higher buyer demand, which creates higher prices. So we're headed in the right direction, but we need more of these decreases month over month in inflation to put ourselves in position for the Federal Reserve to convince the Federal Reserve to say, hey, listen, it's time to make a rate cut for the first time in a long time. Some of you reach out and wanna know where the interest rates, where the mortgage rates are gonna be in the fall. I don't know. The Federal Reserve doesn't know. Your top 100 economists don't know. This is not a crystal ball thing, guys. This is a how much are we spending on goods and services as a nation thing month to month. And of course, we don't know that until the end of the month. Does this updated information help you navigate the New Braunfels housing market? Whether you're thinking about selling a house here or buying one, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're thinking about buying or selling a house in New Braunfels this year or possibly next, of course, I'd love to be your real estate resource of choice. You can email me, you can call me, or you can shoot me a text. As always, thank you so much for watching our videos and we'll see you on the next one.